Hello everyone, I hope you're having the greatest day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're gonna list out some Long Island media moments that are sure to shock you. So, without further ado, let's get right into the content, guys. Supermarket Trip In one episode of the show, Teresa Caputo makes a rush trip to the grocery store to pick out some items for dinner. While there, she makes a quick interaction with a woman who was working behind the counter telling her something very specific. She was channeling a motherly energy and was able to pinpoint that it was this woman's mom who was trying to reach out. Supposedly, the woman never got the chance to say goodbye when her mother passed, but Teresa reassures her that she doesn't hold any ill will towards her and is really proud of her. Aside from this impressive exchange, something even stranger happens as she makes her way into the dessert aisle. Even if this part looks extremely staged, it's very entertaining nonetheless. A random woman named Stacy comes into Caputo's view and she screams, I've been looking for you! Considering she's never met this woman, supposedly because of her intuition, she knew she needed to meet her. What's even more confusing is that Stacy also was looking for her, claiming she had the intuition that she was going to meet her one day. Weird details aside, Caputo seemed to be able to channel this woman's mother who passed before her daughter got married. Through her mediumship, she was able to reveal some more personal details like Stacy's middle name, which was Jan, and the fact that she held onto her mother's pots. The most beautiful aspect of this interaction though is how genuine the connection between Teresa and Stacy is, almost like they had been friends forever. Thankfully, she was able to bring her some much needed closure for her dear departed mother. Teenage Daughter Two clients named Lisa and Matt meet Teresa at a nice restaurant on Long Island for a reading they scheduled. She starts the interaction very strongly by shifting her attention to the necklace Lisa was wearing, claiming she was feeling a very young soul connected to it. According to Lisa herself, this necklace was her daughter's birthstone, which was never taken off. It is quite amazing how Caputo was able to pick up on that. As the episode goes on, we learn more about their 15-year-old daughter Jenna, who was a funny, joyful girl who was liked by so many people. On top of the necklace, the famous medium asked them about some very specific details, like if they still kept their daughter's dance jacket and if they are still watching her dance videos. Her spirit supposedly told Caputo that she wanted her parents to remember her in that way when she was having fun and dancing her heart out, since that's how she is on the other side. It's truly tragic when Teresa starts to piece things together and reveal that Jenna ended her own life in their family home. What's worse is that not only did the parents lose their daughter, they were the ones who found her lifeless body, which must be the worst experience anyone can have. While they had heard noises before the incident happened, they thought she was just dancing and ignored it. Though, this negligence makes the parents feel responsible for her death. To be fair, they never expected it to happen though since this was a highly impulsive and out of character move, especially considering she never seemed depressed. Thankfully, they were able to close the session with a message from Jenna which essentially reassured her parents that she's the only one at fault and they couldn't have done anything different. She loves them and wants them to heal. What a tough episode. Tragic Life Unless you're a psychopath, you can say that it's hard to sit through a Long Island Medium episode without shedding at least one tear. However, in the episode featuring a woman named Carol, hearing her story is enough to bring a grown man to tears. Firstly, Teresa picks up on a motherly spirit who comes forward who is Carol's departed mother. Caputo was able to reveal the fact that she never got the chance to see her mother before she died despite how close the relationship was. Even though her mom did everything she could to take care of herself, she reassured her that there was nothing she could have done to prevent her departure. Then, mid-reading, Caputo was able to channel the departed spirit of Carol's husband, who she revealed passed in their home. It's amazing that the Long Island medium was able to even talk about the last thing her client said to her husband, which was, it's okay to go. But this is just the beginning of all the hardships Carol had to endure, and boy is there sadly a lot. Somehow, she knew that the client who was in front of her had died temporarily and came back to life, which is mind-blowing. Apparently, Carol's temporary 12-hour death was fueled by internal bleeding as a result of something called placenta rupture, which killed the son she was 8 months pregnant with. Connecting this poor woman to her stillborn son, he tells her that she should stop blaming herself for surviving and he's content living with his father on the other side. By the end of the reading, Carol seemed to have a more confident outlook on her future that she could finally stop beating herself up. Christmas Spirit as kind as can be, Teresa and her lovely family decide to volunteer to help at a local food bank to provide for the homeless on Christmas Day. They all settle into their work attire and the viewers get a chance to see what the Long Island medium looks like in a hairnet and it's kind of hilarious. Her son mocks her jokingly, saying that she looks like she has a flattened croissant on the top of her head. Starting with cutting some onions, Caputo starts to feel a presence which she ignores at first but starts to discuss it when one of the workers asks what she does for work. She began to express that she was sensing a motherly figure, which instantly caught the attention of one of the workers. 
While he said he's never believed in mediums, he was curious to see what she had to say about his beloved mother. Caputo started the reading by talking about his mother's character and how she's so proud of her son that she's crying. The worker confirms that his mother had always expressed how prideful she was of him and is the reason why he's into helping at food banks and she would always help others. Surprisingly, she was able to pick up on some very specific details about his life like how he just recently moved and how he couldn't be there when his mother passed. This last detail seemed to have shaken him so much that he had to leave the building for a few minutes to recover. When he finally came back, he said he broke down hearing about how he wasn't there for her, but his mother wanted him to know that she wouldn't have been able to let go if he was there. Hearing that she felt at peace passing with him not there, he seemed very relieved and gave her a grateful hug. How beautiful. Psychic Girl For a very special episode of the show, Teresa meets with a young girl named Harley who reminds her so much of herself when she was a kid. Essentially, this little girl claims that she can see ghosts and she can remember and it really frightens her. The medium tries to reassure her with the fact that despite seeing spirits as something terrifying, she doesn't have to worry about them hurting her. As the session goes on, the little girl tells a story about something she saw while at the playground near her school. Supposedly, she was greeted by her departed grandparents, even being able to get their names, which her parents never revealed. It's incredibly hard on her to have to deal with this, to the point that she loses a ton of sleep from being bothered by spirits trying to reach out. Apparently, her mother claims that even when she was a baby, she would stare and point into specific parts of the room as if something was there, which was captured by their baby monitor. What's more, the little girl says that sometimes she comes into contact with spirits that make her uncomfortable, so Caputo offers to sage her room to make it safer. This is when things get really weird, when a pillow in Harley's room catches the attention of the medium. Seeing the date June 10th on this pillow, Caputo starts to freak out since her birthday is then, and the parents soon reveal that this is Harley's birthday pillow. Soon after, as a word of advice, the Long Island medium tells her that when she was younger, she would visualize something as a barrier of protection when she went to sleep. So she wanted her to think of sleeping on a cloud before bed to hopefully repel away any unwanted spirits. Before she leaves, she shows this sweet little girl how to reduce her encounters by first saging the areas she sees the spirits in and telling them to go back to the light. Hair Colorist Wanting to finally change her hairstyle, which is a big part of our identity, Teresa makes her way to the hair salon to meet with her hairstylist. However, not even 5 seconds after sitting down, she picks up on the departed father of one of the hair colorists there. With his father being dead for the past 7 years, the Silas was shocked to hear Caputo talk about the tattoos he got in commemoration of him. What's more is the wonderful medium was able to discuss a very personal event that happened in the colorist's life. Namely, the fact that his nephew was tragically shot in the throat and pronounced dead but came back to life. She claimed that the colorist's father was in contact with his nephew upon his passing and sent him back because it wasn't his time to go. As a piece of advice, she tells the colorist that his father is watching over both of them and that they should never feel alone. This wonderful message clearly touched the man deeply since he gave Caputo a huge hug and briefly kissed her on the cheek. Well, that will be all for today's video on the channel. I really do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one, guys.